So I went through the foam to the bottom of the trampoline and hit either cement or something hard underneath. I remember hearing a little bit of a pop and um, broke my neck. That was the day that everything changed. Hey everybody, they uh, asked me to make a video. And so I'm not sure what I'm going to say exactly, but I thought I would give somewhat of an update of how things are going in the hospital. This is Carson Tuller, and this is his dog Lulu. Carson is a speaker, presenter, and personal development coach who has quite the story to tell. When you hear about someone who grew up in a military and Mormon family, someone who injured their spinal cord resulting in paralyzation the very same year they came out as gay, it sounds like we're talking about many different people. But that's just Carson. If you're a disabled person, I want you to know that you have a whole life to live. A whole life. Not a half-life, not a piece of a life. A whole life. You are a whole and complete human being, and you always have been, even though you live in a world that constantly tells you otherwise. You're whole and complete. As you know, Carson broke his neck, but that hasn't been his only challenge. One of his earliest struggles was being a member of the Church of Latter-day Saints while in the closet. So growing up Mormon was the best because there's such a focus on family. And it wasn't until I started realizing that I was gay, being Mormon started to be a problem for me, or it started to no longer serve me the way that it did uh, previous to that point. As human beings, one of the most beautiful things that connects us is actually our suffering. I am a proud member of the LGBTQ community, and I look forward to continuing the work that we're doing in Affirmation to make the world a safer place, the church a safer place. And that's exactly what Carson's been doing, making the world and church a safer place by being an advocate and a leader. Now let's go back to December 30th, 2013, when a trip to the trampoline park became a life-changing event. I had grown up doing gymnastics and tumbling, and I loved it my whole life. And I loved going to a trampoline park because I was 6'5". I could pull, like, much bigger moves in a foam pit or on a trampoline than I could on the floor. So went to the trampoline park and did a few little, like, warm-up flips and then would, you know, sometimes launch myself off of the trampoline pull a front tuck as tight as I could, and then land in a ball in the foam. And so I did that, pulled myself into a tuck, and then I ended up sailing through all of the foam, which ended up being pretty smashed and deteriorated. And I went through the foam to the bottom of the trampoline, and then must have gone through the bottom of the trampoline and hit um, either cement or something hard underneath, and um, broke my neck. I clearly remember hearing a little bit of a pop and feeling a little bit of a sting. And I tried to get up and nothing would work. I realized that something was probably wrong. And my dad came down, stabilized me in terms of making sure no one moved me and just prepared me for um, the flight to the hospital. So someone called 911 or the paramedics or whatever they called and got a, um, a helicopter out there, put me on a stretcher and then flew me out to the hospital for some emergency um, spinal surgery. Um, you know, broke my neck. And uh, I have a lot of adjustments to make. And um, I'm sure some of my hardest days are ahead of me. Um, but I you know, know that the, the steady stream of support is uh, has been a lifesaver. So thank you. And I love you. And... Uh, I hope to see all of you one day. Carson's attitude and determination post-accident are notable, but disabled people are multifaceted. Carson is more than the challenges he faces. He's an educator, a brother, a son, and yes, a thirst trap. <laughs> And if being a stud isn't enough for you, here's the cute dog content you've been waiting for. <laughs> so there you have it. Carson Tuller proving to the world that dog dads are everything, queerness is something to be proud of, and being disabled never needs to limit your aspirations in life. Because Carson is just getting started. I just had like this overwhelming feeling that everything was going to be okay as long as I like had love in my life. And I remember specifically thinking as like, I have a lot of people who love me and I have a lot of people who I love 
and that's all that matters in life. You can follow Carson on Instagram. Thanks for watching.